The vile town of Rochdale. The town of Rochdale is back in the news, this time not for a very good reason. Yet it's a town with many sides. This town is a subject of vehement debates. While some believe that it's living or has already lived down its reputation as one of the worst places to live, others are of the opinion it's still one of the good places to live. Really, in spite of all the seeming progress the town has made, we can agree that Rochdale has nothing so good going for it. Thus, in this video, we want to discuss the vile town of Rochdale viewed in another light. Please come along as we explore what living in Rochdale really means. About Rochdale Anyone living in England is generally no stranger to Rochdale. The ancient town, steeped in history, has a prominent place in British annals. However, out of consideration for some of our viewers who may not know as much as others do about towns in England or cities in the UK, we would love to first tell you or remind you of certain things about Rochdale. We know some of you are watching this video from outside Britain. In case there's someone who needs to be told or reminded, let's first do this. Rochdale is a town in Greater Manchester that some people regard as a city. The town with a population of 111,261, according to the 2021 census, is in the foothills of the South Pennines. It lies in the dale of the River Roch, and 8 kilometres northwest of Oldham and 16 kilometres northeast of Manchester. Covering a total area of 57 square kilometres, it has a population density of 1,953 residents per square kilometre. Rochdale is approximately 137 metres above sea level. Close to its east are Blackstone Edge, Saddleworth Moor and the South Pennines. On all other sides, the town is bound by other towns, such as Whitworth, Littleborough, Milnrow, Royton and Crompton, with almost no green space between them. Yet there's a lot of difference between having a pint of facts about a town or city and understanding what it means to live there. So let's let you into living in Rochdale. What to know about living in Rochdale? As you likely know, Rochdale has been ranked among the worst places in England and in the United Kingdom for jobs, pay and skills. Of course, there are warnings that the North-South divide is still getting bigger in the town. Now, in the analysis by the think tank Centre for Cities, which looked at the economies of the 64 largest urban areas in the UK over a decade, Rochdale is in the bottom 10 on a string of measures, such as wages, employment rates, job creation, skill levels, new homes and population growth. It was found that one in seven people in Rochdale has no qualifications. However, the town centre regeneration programme is still in progress. This means that the most popular residential areas appear to be a little further out of town. The jewel in the crown is the village of Littleborough, which sits about eight kilometres northwest of Rochdale's town centre, though still remains part of the metropolitan borough of Rochdale. There's another much sought after suburb of Bamford, a couple of kilometres to the east of Rochdale's heart. It is home to some of the area's biggest and most desirable properties. Then comes the popular village of Norden in the northwest of the borough, on either side of the A680, which leads to Edenfield. It boasts good schools and a wide array of housing options. Nevertheless, these aren't enough reasons to convince you that the town has shed the crown of the worst place to live. Health in Rochdale Over the years, there have been serious concerns about the health status of the city as a whole. Figures and various stats about the health of the town are not encouragingly sufficient to lead to a positive conclusion. Thus, you can't argue with the talks about the vile town of Rochdale and the criticisms surrounding it, even though aberrant arguments are trailing such talks. Consider the 2021 figures, for example. It's one of the most recent indicators of how living in Rochdale is, especially as far as health is concerned. Only 44.1% of the residents of Rochdale described their health as very good. While this looks like an increase from what it was 10 years earlier, it's not a positive outlook that more than half of the city or town's residents can't be upbeat about their health. Those describing their health as good were 33.8%, while 5.5% of them said their health was bad. In fact, some 1.5% of Rochdale residents went as far as describing it as very bad. One of the 50 worst places. Going by the survey recently run by the I Live Here website that asked the Brits to dish the dirt on cities and towns across the country, the people have spoken, and apparently Rochdale has been revealed as one of England's 50 worst places to live in 2022. You likely understand that this is one of the annual surveys giving the true pictures of the towns in England and the UK. In 2022, a total of 110,172 people responded to the survey. 
That was a record turnout based on the website's experience. The results now made available indicate that Rochdale is in 16th place. Please hold it a second. Does that mean Rochdale is the 16th worst place to live? Oh, sure. That's what the folks say. We are only amplifying their thoughts. According to their responses, Rochdale is better to live in than only 15 places in England. Among the places worse than Rochdale are Oldham, which comes in at number 13, and Bolton, which finishes 6th. We too believe it is not too difficult to see why people want to give those boroughs a wide berth. Delving into marital issues There seems to be little or no motivation for entering or committing to relationships in Rochdale as more adults aren't married in the town. The figures even show further that they don't want to be in a civil partnership. Here is the fact. 38.5% of the residents of the town who were 16 years and over in 2021 said they had never been in a marital relationship or in a civil partnership. And the situation is not likely to change for the better because in 2011 the situation was better. That year, just over 4 in 10 people, the equivalent of 43.2% said they were married or engaged in a registered civil partnership. Now, when compared with the situation in 2011, when 44.4% described themselves as someone with that marital status, you can see that the future isn't looking bright for marriage in Rochdale. While the divorce rate in the town isn't among the worst, it is at the same time not among the best in the country. The number of adults in the town of Rochdale who had divorced or dissolved their civil partnership was equivalent to 9.3%. Yes, you heard right. Some 9.3% of residents in Rochdale in 2021 ended such relationships. Analyzing these figures across the northwest for 2021, we find an increase in the percentage of adult people starting from 16 years who have never married or been joined in a civil partnership. These 2021 percentages have factored in same-sex marriages and opposite-sex civil partnerships. Ironically, neither of these kinds of relationships were legally recognized in England and Wales in 2011. Same-sex marriages started to be given legal recognition in England and Wales only in 2014 and opposite-sex civil partnerships were recognised as recently as 2019. This may explain the structure of these statistics. More lone parents For various reasons, leaving you with your own guesses, Rochdale is not one of the best places to enjoy marital stability. That is for those who really care about marriage anyway. There's been an apparent breakdown in home value in the town. That is why the town has many more lone parents than its neighbours. A closer look at this spate will reveal that the spate of lone parenthood is more common among women. Due to various societal factors, women are either becoming pregnant out of wedlock or unable to live with whoever fathered their babies. Rochdale has a sample of any of these cases you might think of. The largest percentage point rise in the proportion of lone parents could be found in the northwest, where it rose to 14.5 in 2021. Oldham was found with the next largest increase in the percentage of lone parent households as it had 14.4% in 2021. What can you say about the vile town of Rochdale? Please, we'd love the discussion to continue in the comment section and we'll appreciate your frank opinion. Kindly share them. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.